Consensus wide receiver 10, Amari Cooper. He is my wide receiver 8 and Alex's wide receiver 10. Good job by you getting him up there. I I just couldn't put him any higher. I got uh, all the stats and here they come. Rapid fire, baby. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just want to say Amari Cooper is currently going at pick 41, which oh is like the, like the middle of round four. He's wide receiver 17 coming off imagine? the board. Can wide you, receiver 17. Can you imagine? He's going, uh, he's going after the likes of Chris Godwin, C.D. Lamb, Julio Jones, Mike Evans, uh, Allen Robinson, McLaurin, um, and going just before Robert Woods and DJ Moore. Wow. That, that's freaking nuts. All right. Let's talk about last year. So. Through the first five games when Dak was healthy, Dak was quarterback. Tasty. Dak was quarterback four. Zeke was running back three. Amari was wide receiver eight. And CD Lamb was wide receiver 11. Uh, Michael Gallup was wide receiver 33, so flex worthy. And Dalton Schultz, who was a top 12 tight end. Zeke went on to fall from wide from running back three to running back 11. Amari fell from wide receiver eight to wide receiver 16. Thanks to Ben DiNucci and CD lamb fell from wide receiver 11 to wide receiver 19. <clears throat> After only having 17 points scored against the Rams in week one, the Cowboys scored 40 points, 31 points, 38 points, and 38 and 37 <laughs> points before losing Dak. <laughs> Since That's Amari good. Cooper was acquired by the Cowboys in 2018, he is seventh in receptions with 224, fifth in receiving yards with more than 3,000, seventh in touchdowns with 19, 15th in yards per route run with more than two. And 14th in percentage of catchable passes caught with more than 92%. Only four players in the league had 50 targets in weeks one through five last year. Allen Robinson. Ooh. DeAndre Hopkins. Pretty good. Stefan Diggs. Very good. And Amari Cooper. Nice. He has all of the makings of not a top 12 wide receiver, of not a top 10 wide receiver, but a top six wide receiver that is going in the fourth round. Is because, he, uh, is, is he the his 2021 version of Stefan Diggs? Easily. Yeah. Him and CeeDee Lamb are the 2020 Julio Jones, Calvin Ridley. Oh. They're just going to throw the ball so much, right? I mean, you're you're talking about the second most passes in football last year, and, and not that's only with, that, I'm going to I'm that's with cutting Danucci off and Dalton. I'm going to say these pass attempts in the first five weeks: thirty nine from Dak week one against the Rams, forty seven week two against Atlanta, fifty seven against Seattle, fifty eight <laughs> against Cleveland. <laughs> He gets hurt after throwing 21 passes against the Giants. He had thrown back to back 55 plus <laughs> pass attempt games the previous two weeks. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Pass attempts per game, they finished below 40. That shows what happened. They would have set the record for pass attempts per game ever. Easily. They were on pace to shatter it. They would have finished yeah. with almost with easily more than five more pass attempts per game than Pittsburgh did at, at 42 and a half. Homeboy was throwing 55, 60 passes a game. McCarthy's not messing around, man. No, he's not. No, how to <laughs> you dude, dude knows his team. That is throw, that throw is a ball. ridiculous team. Amari is, I think, one of the best values in the draft. Totally agree. Everybody's sleeping on him because he's had back to back seasons of two seasons ago was headaches of up and down. And then last season under McCarthy, 
it was Dak got hurt. And then in came Andy Dalton and Ben DiNucci. And it was the Ben DiNucci experience. It's like a really crappy indie band with somebody that just shreds on guitar. But the lead singer sucks. (laughs) But now you're replacing him. It's like Queen. They had a crappy lead singer. He left. Oh, my God. In comes Freddie Mercury. That's Dak. And now it's just the best thing that there's ever been. This is this team is incredible. Amari, From an offensive perspective, and their defense still isn't very good, so they're no, still going to get into those shootouts. It's a perfect you know? combo, and that yeah. conference sucks. Like yes, uh, he again his targets the first four games: fourteen, nine, twelve, sixteen, which puts him on pace for over two hundred targets in a sixteen game season. Is that all? Well. The, the, <laughs> Good things there. Good thing there's an extra game this season. Hey, come on, man. He's a lock. Like, like honestly, I. You have him too low, dude. You have him. No, at, I know. I know. Ten I is do. way I, too low. I I agree. I we got. I got to figure out a way to bump him up. I, it was one of those things where I, I was looking at him, and and a lot of people do like CD Lamb. Um, more than than Amari Cooper, and I just don't. I'm not down on CD Lamb. I think he's a top 24 guy easily, but I, I'm not going to put him over Amari until he actually proves it and finishes there. Yeah, um, exactly. C CD Lamb going before Amari Cooper, I think, is is somewhat of a travesty. Uh, they're currently going within two picks uh, on um uh, from a, from an ADP perspective. So, and I'm not like throwing right shade there. at people either. But the fantasy footballers don't have Amari in their top 10. Just blows my mind. Yeah. And I, I think he is. I, I think he has to be. I would much rather have the wide receiver one on one of the most prolific one. What has the potential to be one of the most prolific offensive offenses in history than Terry McLaurin or A.J. Brown with Julio Jones? Or DK so, Metcalf. So with, do we just put with, our stake who in the was ground outscored, now? And, who was outscored by Cole Beasley. <laughs> just say Amari Cooper wide receiver one this year and just point. Dude, just put the. Put I will the, plant. I will. Yes, that is my. Yeah. I will plant my flag. Yeah. Amari Cooper wide receiver one. No. Yeah. I. Well, he's definitely going to be a wide receiver one. I don't know if he's going to be the wide receiver one, but. Um, do, do not be surprised if he is easily a top five guy this year um, just because the targets are going to be there. And I, he was incredible until Dak got hurt and then only had over 10 targets once after he did get hurt. Um, I mean, he was still remarkably consistent, actually, for um, for the crap he was playing with. Um, so I, I'm very very excited about Amari Cooper after being down on him last year and seeing what that offense can do the first couple of weeks, light it up. 